or evening or whatever time it is where you are. You've already seen the title of this video, so I'll just say this. Out of respect for Dan and Phil, I will not be spoiling anything in this video. But that doesn't mean I can't spill a little cheeky tea, because I believe everything that I'm going to be sharing in this video are things that only happened in Nashville. I'm going to be telling a little bit of the trip that happened before the actual performance, but those are going to be mostly things that are Dan and Phil related that happened. I mean, my friends and I basically lived and breathed Dan and Phil for a couple days. Which sounds weird now that I say that. If that kind of stuff doesn't interest you, then future me will put a timestamp right here that will take you to the good stuff. To start off, the obvious choice for our five and a half hour drive to Nashville were, of course, spider donuts. Just ignore the fact that they look more like muffins than donuts. When we got to Nashville, I finally got to watch Tatna for the first time because I wasn't able to go with my friends Emily and Corinna two years ago when they went to see it in St. Louis. And I've been to lazy, I guess, to put it on YouTube Red yet. But it was amazing! We also made these snazzy t-shirts to actually wear to the performance. One represented Dan with a little icon of his hobbit hair and his upside down smiley face. One was for Phil, which had his stress mushroom on it and a lion and a houseplant. And then the one for Dan and Phil Games, which is the one I wore, of course, had the Dan vs. Phil logo. It had the little logo from Dill's t-shirt with the, the hearts and the energy sign. And it had a listing of all the things they, mostly Phil, have called us over the years in their intro. My personal favorite is, Hello, Dan and Phil Games Secret Robot Lizards. Not especially Dan and Phil related, but I'm going to sneak in a picture of our pizza supper and the Nashville skyline just for kicks. We woke up Friday morning, the day of the show, frickin' sad. But first, we had to go to the Parthenon, say hi to Athena, glare at geese, pure evil, pet all the dogs, go to Barnes and Noble and find books that Dan and Phil would approve of, or not, in Dan's case, get to Andrew Jackson Hall, wait five minutes, seriously, five minutes, for the words interactive introverts to show up again on the sign outside because we just missed it when we first came up. We also had to get whiskered up while in the merch line. Ram -lam. <laughs> Be let into the theater. Van and Phil World Tour 2018. And jam to the playlist on Dan's phone for an incredible heart pounding hour before the show started. <laughs> they had songs like New Rules and Look What You Made Me Do. Dan's Siri would cut in from time to time and tell us things like Dan is banned from the internet at this moment or there's some cool merch in the lobby. Just saying. And here's why I love the community of the fandom. About half an hour before the show was starting, we were sitting and listening to music. All of a sudden we heard screaming and clapping from the other side of the audience. We were like, wait, what, what, what's going on? What, the show hasn't started yet. What's happening? But we looked over and there were these two girls who had gotten up and were dancing and everyone was cheering for them at the top of their lungs. And they were really good. I'm sorry I only got a little clip of them. When the song ended, the entire audience gave them such a huge applause that everything was shaking. I really, really hope that someone told Dan and Phil that they had some pretty awesome pre-show crowd warmers. Then the lights dimmed. Everyone practically screamed Black Parade when it came on. And of course, actually screamed when Dan and Phil came on stage. So here are the couple things that I can tell you that happened during the show itself. Dan and Phil pondered that interactive introverts could have been called two bros chilling on a big stage. Phil helped us discover Dan's deep, dark secret. A photo of Evan Peters, Phil's merch, 
and a she. Phil determined that the collective name of the Nashville audience was Jolene. He also had to get out of a full-body costume later on in the show, and Dan scolded us for laughing at one of his lowest moments. He was kind of pointing his rear end at the audience on accident while bending over. Phil also demonstrated his unpredictable creativity when he went from the thought of a nice warm coffee to your grandmother, who is not really your grandmother, trying to poison you? Dan got electrocuted. Which is not a spoiler because they put it in the trailer! And as he jumped backwards in pain, he yelped, Bloody poop! Please forgive my British accent. He kind of pauses, and Phil and the whole audience kind of just chuckles at him. And then Dan chuckles himself and says, If you have that, you should see a doctor. He also twice got the audience yelling indignation at him for his horribly insensitive Infinity War memes. He was talking about Phil killing his cactus Loki, so you can imagine the cruelty of his references. Why, yes, Stan, we didn't feel so good after that. And yes, it was too soon. Okay, and here is the best unscripted moment of the entire show. So Phil steps down from the hexagon. He's just done something very well, and he's excited. So he goes, yee! And, of course, the entire audience says ye as well, but it's kind of like ye, you know, not kind of staggered. And so Dan's about to say something. He's about to continue the show, but he stops. And he kind of just looks at the audience and goes, so Nashville thinks they can ye. Then he and Phil go, na 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 na. Na 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 And the entire audience goes Yee They kind of bask in the echoes of the yees that are passing them and Dan just goes That was the most synchronized ye I have ever heard in my life and it was glorious. And that's about it. Except that we stopped by a mall called Wolf Chase on the way back and went into Hot Topic. And I found these adorable corgi earrings. I promise this is pertinent to Dan and Phil because a corgi just might be related to one of the most important parts of the show. But I promise no spoilers. I seriously can't believe how big the hype was for the show and how prolonged the hype was for the show and how mind-boggled we were for not even just right after the show, but for the entire drive on the way back. We were just like, Did he really did that? What happened? How? How? Yeah. Oh, cool. We could not stop talking about it. Dan and Phil did a smashing job. Mm, and in case I didn't say it earlier, I got to share this experience with my wonderful friends, Emily and Corinna. Emily's also really good at makeup and her channel name is Monster Cookie and you should check out her videos. If you made it this long, thank you for watching. No thanks for the people who didn't finish watching the video. Goodbye!